Well, this is fun, guys. This is a lot of fun. It is 27 degrees. It is pissing snow. We've only got maybe a new inch or two. We're supposed to get 8 to 12 today from the storm coming in from the southwest. Um, southwest is in like Texas, Oklahoma area. So, uh, I'm out here, the show must go on. When there are plans, weather does not stop me, even in the worst car on the road for weather like this. And it's been okay so far. Once I get going, it's all right. Um, but if I were to need to start on any sort of an inclination on a road like this, I couldn't without burning away the snow and likely the surface of my precious tires. So we'll avoid that at all costs. We made it. Not exactly fun, but not terrible. Not terrible yet. If it keeps coming down like this, it's going to be really bad within the hour. Alright guys, story time. So, I think those clips made it from this morning. I went over to the grandparents' house in terrible weather. We were just planning on taking the candles out of the windows. You know, they put those things in each window that they have. I do them in the front of the house because it looks nice from outside, but they do the whole house. So we did that. It took like 25 minutes. It went by really quickly. We got it done. It was easy. We got everything packed up and it was still like 1.30. So we went from there and we pretty much did everything in that house aside from their Christmas tree. I'm sorry, none of it got filmed. It was hot in there. I had all the stuff out of my pockets and out in the car. So we did that until about five or six o'clock. It took a long time. Then we went to dinner. Then we went back, had some cookies and sat around and talked for a little bit. And uh, then I came back here. And I got home. There's about a foot of snow here, eight inches down where they are. Um, eight. 10 whatever miles south of here, and um, I couldn't get in the driveway. There was so much snow. Plow had gone by, clearing off the street. Finally, they got the snow plows out, and there was probably three feet of snow at the end of my driveway. There's no way I'm getting through that. So I stopped, parked, got out, ran up to the house, uh, started the snow blower, and started working with the snow blower. Got about halfway done with the driveway, and I saw something laying in the snow about 30 feet away from the snow blower. It was black. It looked like it had just fallen there. No snow was on top of it. Let me show you what that was. Hold on a second. It was this. It was upside down. I picked it up. It took me about 15 seconds looking at it, trying to figure out what it was. Well, for those of you who don't know, it's the front of a flip. Let me show you what it looks like. And here's how it goes. This is a flip. This thing goes on here, slides up, and then on the bottom, there is a thing that you click, and it snaps it in place. So I found that, and I'm like, oh shit. And I started checking my pockets. The flip's not there. I checked the car. Oh my god, and when I ran up to the house, the flip must have come out, and I ran it over with the snowblower. That's the case. About a half hour later, I found the rest of the flip, 30 feet away, in the snow. I ran over my, my vlogging camera of a year and a half with a snowblower, and it pitched it 30 feet. Isn't that remarkable? And as far as I know, I haven't tried to import anything. If this vlog works, the camera still works. Holy crap. Um, bad part is I didn't find the battery pack, so I jacked the battery pack out of my mom's flip that they use for soccer. And I'm going to have to put that back and use triple A's, and I, I just ordered the battery pack off Amazon. It'll be here, um, well, I'm not going to have it for a while, until January sometime, but it'll be here later. Um, so that kind of sucks. It was $10 for the battery pack. You know, the company that makes flips, Cisco, Pure Digital, they're out of business, and they stopped making flips a while ago. So the few that are left, the third generations on eBay, are about $400, three to $400. You know what these things were new? Like 100 bucks, 99, 79, 89 dollars. Get them on sale for 69 somewhere. Yeah, so now they're sought after, they're rare, they're desirable, they're very expensive. So I'm really glad I didn't destroy it. As far as I know, I haven't tried to import, as I said, but it's banged up. It's got a nice dent in the side of it. The casing still kind of fits on the bottom. There's a couple millimeter gap. The screen's got a nice little gash in it now, but you know what? This thing's used every day. It's day. It's been in 15 states with me this year, and it has filmed all of the worthless stuff that I've done. So, And it's still working, and it got, it got put through a snowblower. You guys know what a snowblower looks like, right? It's huge, and it's made of metal, and I, I am totally surprised that it didn't just grind this thing up completely. There's my snowblower. It's pretty big. It's a nice Toro 2510, 2410 storm snowblower. It's very nice. And man, it threw that thing. I can't believe I didn't feel it go through. Usually if you get a big piece of ice or something, you feel a clunk and it kind of vibrates. But it still works. Sorry for the really long clip. Uh, but that's the story with that. 
So I've been talking to Bobby, talking to Colt, talking to people, doing stuff. I have like 45 emails I gotta get done tonight. I was out all day. And I got Bobby's Christmas present today. Check this out. This is beautiful. Quite literally, a work of art. Get all the crap out of the way here. It, it was sent in a tube, so it's still very round. But look at that. That is beautiful. It's a 5 Series. And not only is it a 5 Series, it's an M5 Series. It's 60 feet that way. This thing's hand-drawn, a level of detail. You can see where the ink kind of bled the paper, stained the paper. It's beautiful. Really nice. I'd like to get that framed with a black frame and get that up on the wall in here somewhere. So, Bobby, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It's a beautiful thing. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the vlog. It's, it's 3.16 in the morning. I need to go to bed because I can't get on the schedule that I'm getting up really late. That is not going to work for this week. So, sorry for the long... Really, what am I now? Five minutes. Jesus. If you've watched this, let me know. That's special. One package left. That's for somebody very close. Well, physically speaking, that way. So, maybe we'll give that to him later. So, I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow, Thursday, the 27th of December. I'm kind of taking a day off tomorrow. I don't really have... A lot of things to do, a couple little errands, but that's about it. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.